Hi everyone! Hi! Okay, so today we have another cooking video for you and we're making delicious uh, vanilla cake batter ice cream, vegan of course. And, and it's yeah. made from scratch. And, and I got the recipe maker. off of Tumblr, so I'm going to link that down below. I made a couple of changes to it, but yeah. And also, in the video when I was describing the ingredients, I said a quarter of a cup of sprinkles, I meant a quarter of a teaspoon. So, of course, she really would like to eat the entire quarter cup. <laughs> well, I, I actually use more than a quarter of a cup of sprinkles, so yeah. Anyway, <laughs> watch the video and enjoy. Enjoy. So here are all the ingredients you're going to need. Um, the first thing you need is one cup of vanilla soy milk. We don't have vanilla, so we're just using regular soy milk. It's Zen brand. Um, you would need a half a cup of granulated sugar. We're using Florida Crystals. Which is a vegan brand of sugar. Right. Um, Two cups of soy creamer. We're using Silk soy creamer in original. Um, so you use the whole thing of this because it's a pint, which is two cups. Or, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. And then two teaspoons of vanilla extract. We have Flav Organics organic vanilla extract. And um, a quarter cup of rainbow sprinkles. These are just uh, Wilton rainbow sprinkles. I use way more than a quarter of a cup because that's what I like. And you need three quarter of a cup of um, cake mix. Make sure it's vegan. This is yellow cake mix by Cherry Brook Kitchen. All natural, peanut free, nut free, dairy free, egg free. And so you want to use a yellow cake mix? No, just gluten free cake mix. Whatever right, you want. but but you oh okay, so you could do either chocolate or vanilla if you want. Okay, mm -hmm. but in this recipe, we're going to be doing a yellow cake mix, exactly. correct? Exactly. And then optional, which I just added myself, um, I crush up Oreos and these little brownie bites, like brownie cakes. They're vegan. They're Lucy's brand. Um, and I put that in there, too, because it's what I like. So, yeah, that's it. We're going to measure everything out, and we'll see you in a second. All right, in a medium bowl, you have to whisk the milk, sugar, creamer, and vanilla until the sugar is dissolved. So we're going to do that now. And you just want to whisk this until all of the sugar is dissolved. And after all the sugar is dissolved, you put in the cake mix. And then you just want to stir that with a wooden spoon until all the lumps are out. And now most people won't be able to get all of the lumps out. So we're going to show you how to strain the lumps out, but get them as well as you can. Right, and a good way to do that is just take the wooden spoon and, and push it push up, it against, up the against the sides. The sides. Like you take one of the little clumps and you just push it up against the sides. Okay, so to make this a little bit easier, we put a, what is that called? A strainer, strainer on top of a big measuring cup basically and, and a um, spout, which with a spout which makes it easier to pour it into the ice cream maker so we just you know put it all through here and then we do this to to strain the clumps out now it doesn't have this in the recipe it just tells you to mix until they're all gone but that's not realistic exactly not realistic because you really it's very difficult to get those lumps out. So you see how nice and creamy that is now? Right, and, and then now through? you can pour that into the into the mix because right. now there's no lumps. Right. So okay, very good. Just, Just makes it easier. So then all you have to do is uh, pour this mixture into the freezer bowl until it's thickened. So it's about 25-30 minutes. And then um, for the last five minutes, you just pour in the rainbow sprinkles and any other little add-ins that you would like, which we are going to use the brownie bites and the Oreos. So well, we're going to show all we're gonna, of that too. I know, but yeah. okay. And here we are putting together the ice cream maker. Wow. Use, we're using a Krups ice cream maker, and that's the frozen part right there, the little bowl. And this is what makes Mixes it, it charms the ice cream. Or the mixture, shall we say? Okay. And then you just pour it on in. Put the top on, like so. 
so. So then you just put it on for 25 minutes and then let that go. And after 25 minutes passes, then you put all your little goodies in and we'll, I'll show you that. And that's it. Looking, now it'll start, it good. starts to thicken up in there and you can watch it happen. It's very exciting. It is very exciting. Okay, so now we're going to put the goodies in. I don't measure, I just put a ton of sprinkles and two crushed up brownies and just kind of break the Oreos into it. So you just do it little by little. So look at the ice cream, see how it's solidified? It's all nice and thick. Mm -hmm. So this is the last five minutes yeah. that we're putting the uh, goodies in. Uh, how many brownies? The two little minis? You just crush it up when you go. No, I, I just crush them up in the bag. Ah. Okay. And then you kind of let that go for a minute. Just like 30 seconds until you start adding the next ingredients. Mm -hmm. Sprinkles. That's one teaspoon, two teaspoons. Yeah, you're only supposed to use a quarter of a teaspoon, but I don't Three know. Teaspoons. I like a lot, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I like. That's a lot more than a quarter teaspoon, wouldn't you say, guys? And I'm probably going to add more, too. That's mm. the sick part. And Oreos, and believe it or not, vegan Oreos. Oreos are vegan, is what she means. That's exactly what I meant. It's not what I said. <laughs> but a lot of people don't know that, that Oreos are vegan. Like, what about the cream? Well, the cream is made of chemicals. <laughs> yeah. Or, well, nobody said Oreos were healthy, but uh, yeah, they are not, vegan. Yeah, this isn't a health recipe. No. Nope. This is an indulgent recipe. I think she likes Oreos too. What do you think, guys? It's only my second Oreo. <laughs> Sometimes it gets stuck around here, so I just kind of push it all back in. And then. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ooh. Then you can eat it. Yummy, yummy. And so, yeah, just continue doing this until it's your desired result. Oh my god, more sprinkles? You know what the sickest part is, too? When I'm eating the ice cream, I put more sprinkles on top. Ay, ay, ay. You know, you, I bet you probably put a quarter of a cup of, of sprinkles. I, saw, I think I used more than a quarter of a yeah. cup. Yeah. Probably. But, but stick to the recipe. I mean, you want to add more. Yeah, you guys can use your judgment because the best part is you can taste it as you go. Yeah. Yeah, we put it in a uh, plastic container, so we're not really sure exactly how much it makes. And actually, we're not sure because when you keep taste testing it. Yeah, when you <laughs> taste it as often as I do, I don't really know. Yeah. There we go. Can I have a moment? <laughs> if you're a vegan and you miss ice cream, real ice cream, because we all know vegan ice cream is not the same, this is, it tastes exactly like, like really awesome, sweet, like frozen yogurt. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> like, please, it is so bomb. You're just, you're never going to even care about ice cream ever again, because <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. So good. Oh my god. So now we're finished with our yummy ice cream recipe. And I hope you guys enjoy it. If you make it and you love it, please let us know. Yeah, we love to hear from you. Yes. Okay, thanks Bye, guys. for watching. Bye.